In this video, I want to show you exactly what to do when the requested lay bet that you've placed on a horse extra place race isn't completely matched. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris, and on here I love talking about how to make money online and generally be smarter with your money. I wanted to make this video because I've had a lot of people asking me when I've been doing the live streams over on the Patreon page in which I share my screen and sort of show you which bets to be taking on horse extra places, People were saying that they were managing to get part of a lay bet on, but then not quite being able to match the rest up. So I wanted to sort of look at how that could be possible, how people have been doing that. And then if that does happen to you, what you can do in order to make it so it's no problem and you can match the rest of the lay bet up. So straight into it then on the laptop, as we can see here, we're just on the Odds Monkey dashboard. Now, what I'll do is in this video as well, I'll show you uh, how to set up a horse extra place uh, sort of, you know, set up so your tabs are set up for, for doing extra places. So you would just simply go to tools, matches, and then the extra place matcher. Uh, and by the way, if you're not using uh, Odds Monkey yet, do check out the discount codes I've left in the description. Uh, it's going to give you one, um, one pound for 12 days or 50% off your first month. So definitely worth checking those out. Uh, but for this example, we'll look at the, uh, we'll go with the Pontifract 230 race. And all we'll need to do is uh, bring up the um, Smarkets tabs here. So bring up a, a couple of Smarkets tabs. And the bookmaker there, which uh, I won't mention any bookmaker names because YouTube got a bit annoyed with me when I did before. So I'm not mentioning any, any names there. But all you would do is you have your first tab set up is your Odds Monkey Extra Place tab. Uh, the extra place matcher, sorry. Then the next tab along would be the bookmaker that you're using or a few different bookmakers if you're using a few. Then you would have your Smarkets tab set up for the win market. So obviously when you place an each way bet, you need to lay the win and you lay the place as a, as a lot of you already know. Uh, but then on the, the next Smarkets tab, we would just close down the win market and then, uh, as it says here, to place top two. So we'd be going for a, a top... Th so yeah, if the horse finishes in third place, that's where we're going to get the profit with this. So we have that place market in that second markets tab there. Now, an extra tab that you might want to set up, if it's happening to you, where you're sort of placing a, a lay bet and it's not fully matching, and then you're really not knowing what you need to do, which is, of course, what this video is for, Open another Odds Monkey tab at the end and then select Calculator. And when that loads up, I'll show you exactly what we're going to be able to do here. So down at the bottom here, it says Part Lays, uh, just right at the bottom there in the, in the right-hand corner. So it says Hide as Standard. It just gives you the basic calculator. But just click on Hide and then it's going to show you the part lays calculator um, part of it there. So for this example, we'll use this horse here, Pop Master, great name for a horse. And we'll look at, um, so the win lay odds, so 3.45, we would want to stake £9.42 at 3.45. So uh, as you can see, there is, uh, yeah, there's definitely, there's £55 there, that little gray number under the blue box there being the amount of liquidity, amount of money available at those uh, win lay odds. So there's definitely enough money there for us to lay that £9.42 stake. But, uh, well, it's just dropped to 22 there. But if we look at one that's, say, uh, a bit less, so um, Bally, Bally Connolly Bay, that's got one, it just said one pound available, and now it's saying six pounds available at 11.5. So if we go over to that one, uh, it's saying we need to lay uh, £8.33 on the uh, win lay there at odds of 12. So we would go back over and uh, as you can see, it's dropping between, it's going between 11.5 to 12. So we'd actually need to change that to a uh, win lay of 11.50. So £8.70 at 11.5. So at the moment, yes, there is £10 available for us to get that £8.70 on at 11.5. But say say you were using a larger each way back stake. So say you were £20, you have a bigger bankroll, you've put £20 each way or £40 total. That means you'd want £17.39 at 11.5. And uh, definitely we wouldn't have that available. It, it would only match us up with £10 there. And then it would jump onto the... 
um, it would jump. The twelve would jump in there, so we'd only have ten pounds matched potentially uh, if there was no further liquidity. But all you need to do, if that happened, is jump over here and use this uh, part lays already in place calculator. So we'll go with the back stake. Uh, obviously, twenty pounds each way. It's twenty pounds on the win, twenty pounds on the place. So we put twenty pounds there. Then the back odds are. So if we have a look on there. The back odds are 10.0, so put 10.0 in there. Then the win lay odds are still 11.5, so um, well we would have we would have been wanting to lay it at 11.5, so you would put 11.5 in. Now, as we saw when when the screen was up, so it has obviously horse racing; it changes very fast. It's only got four pounds available now, but what we'll put in, we'll put in that 10 pounds of it match. So. We got out of the £17.39, just to use nice round numbers, we did get £10 matched. So we would then just put in part lay stake, so we got £10 matched, and the part lay odds were actually 11.5. So of course, we, we still have £7.39 there not matched. Now, if that, if that has changed to 12, because we've taken all that liquidity at 11.5, now it's just showing a 12 there. Obviously, I've not placed these bets, but... If it was just a 12 there now, all you would do, so you've told the calculator you've got 10 pounds at 11.5, you would just come back here and tell it that the lay odds are now 12.0. And as you saw at the bottom, it's now changed that number. So instead of it saying lay 7 pounds 39, you would now lay uh, 7 pounds 8 pence on that uh, win lay of 12. Uh, it's actually dropped to 11 now. But that's all you need to do. You would simply then just lay that seven pounds eight pence at 12 uh, instead of the seven pounds 39 uh, because obviously the 11.5 had gone now if that happened where it dropped further down and um, instead of it going up to 12 it went down to 11 again all we would do is just change that to 11.0 and that's going to be uh, better for us isn't it instead of seven pounds 39 for 11.5 it's now saying we can put seven pounds 73 uh, odds of 11 the the odds have gone up that's much better for us for for getting on it at, at a better price so that should have explained how you can set up that part lay calculator and then just simply change the numbers on the lay odds there tell it how much you've already laid at a certain odds and you would know how much you've sort of managed to place a lay by with what it's sort of saying on uh, your bets tab here on the side. So if I click on that um, Bally Connolly Bay there and I request say, so against Bally Connolly Bay and I put the the, the lay odds down to say, um, it's, it's not going to drop to this, but if I put it to say, let's say um, 4.8 and then I requested, uh, I'll just put 10 pounds and press enter, enter. Now, that's come up in, because um, a few people were asking about this, so it's come up in red and it just says 000, you know, match. So there's nothing that's matched there. Uh, we've requested much lower odds there and that just means that, you know, no way is that going to match. Um, and when the, start, when the race starts, what will happen is that will just get cancelled off. So you will then have a, a bet, a back bet on a horse, which isn't matched in any way. There's no lay bet on it. So that's really why it's crucial to make sure, um, and if it was partly matched at, say, those um, odds of 11.5, and then it would have just gone up to 12 um, instead of dropping down, um, if it's only part matched, it would say, so 10 pounds at 11.5, and you know from this calculator, you know that you needed 17 pounds 39 on there, so obviously it just showing 10 pounds matched at that 11.5 would be no good, you would need to use that um, part lays in place calculator in order to get that extra lay on to make sure the whole bet is covered. I hope that's now explained to you how you would get extra lay bets on if those bets are only partly matched. Uh, if it has helped you out in any way, please do press the like button below. I really appreciate it. Uh, as you know, it helps grow the YouTube channel. As I mentioned earlier, please do join the Profit Boss Match Betting Facebook group if you're not a member already. I'll leave the link down in the description. So until next time, thank you very much for watching then, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>